The epicenter of the earthquake was located beneath the Sea of Japan, approximately 65 kilometers off the coast of Ishikawa Prefecture. The earthquake struck at a depth of 35 kilometers, causing powerful tremors across the Hokuriku region. A tsunami advisory was issued for Ishikawa Prefecture and neighboring Toyama Prefecture. Authorities urged nearly 90,000 residents in coastal communities to evacuate to higher ground immediately. The quake caused large swells in the Sea of Japan, prompting fishing vessels to return to port for safety. Several towns reported prolonged shaking with furniture and household items falling in homes and businesses. The earthquake caused temporary blackouts, leaving more than 25,000 homes without power. Train services, including portions of the Hokuriku Shinkansen, were halted as tracks were checked for damage. <laughs> Multiple roads were closed due to reports of cracks and landslides in the mountainous areas. Emergency services responded to numerous calls about minor injuries caused by falling debris. Several older buildings in the city of Kanazawa sustained visible structural damage. Local television showed images of residents evacuating to designated shelters carrying blankets and emergency supplies. A tsunami wave measuring approximately 1 meter was observed at Wajima port within 45 minutes of the quake. Fishermen described the rapid rise and fall of the water level as unsettling but manageable. in the region were closed for the day to allow inspections of their buildings. <laughs> Hospitals prepared for a potential influx of patients, though no major casualties were reported.
cultural landmarks, including historic shrines and temples, were carefully inspected for damage. The earthquake disrupted flights at Komatsu Airport, where operations were temporarily suspended. Experts stated the earthquake occurred along a fault line running beneath the Sea of Japan. Residents reported multiple aftershocks throughout the night, some strong enough to cause alarm. The government deployed additional resources, including helicopters, to assess damage in remote coastal areas. Emergency supplies such as water, food and blankets were distributed to evacuees in temporary shelters. Videos on social media captured dramatic scenes of swaying skyscrapers and frightened residents rushing outside. Despite the intensity of the earthquake, Japan's earthquake-resistant infrastructure minimized the scale of destruction. Officials emphasized the need for continued vigilance, warning that aftershocks and additional tsunamis were still possible. Yo,